you're trying to reach is currently unavailable. Please leave a message after the break. I know you guys are going to say I'm the problem and I promise you that is not the case, that is so not the case man. So much has been going on and I honestly want you guys to watch this whole video with an open mind and I just want to, you know, sorry let me turn this down. I just want a complete open dialogue in this video, do you get me? Like, life has been life and things have been going on and I'm not the type of person that will hide it. Like, that's just not me. I'm not a cap and rap guy. I've always been a person that's maintained transparency on my platform. And I just, I just feel like it's time for a change. Like, I just want to talk about everything that's been going on. Do you get me? Well, obviously the section 21 I've been served, let's start there. I think, um, you know, I'm not in rent arrears, number one, at all. Yeah, I've always make sure my rent is paid on time. I'm going to give you a brief background story. So obviously, if you guys don't know, I'm not going to go back into all of it, but me reaching here, I wasn't, I wasn't supposed to be here. It was by coincidence, it was by chance, and the responsibility was left upon my head to manage this apartment. I live in a new build. I was the first person to live in this new neighbourhood, and the day that I was evicted from my previous place was the day that I found this place, and it was the exact place that I prayed for ever since I became homeless from the age of 18. Now, the situation that has happened was a situation where... Um, me and my landlord is no longer getting on. Like, when I first moved in here, the walls weren't even painted. <laughs> the walls weren't painted, nothing was done to the apartment because it's a new build, so they have to allow it to settle. So obviously the agreement was, when I moved in, that we would allow the place to settle in for nine months to a year, and then after the nine months to a year, he would obviously get the place repainted because to all the point where you walk inside the house, if your clothes touches the wall, I'm telling you, the wall and the plane scrape off, like there's no paint at all, it's just been left on some coating so obviously i was patient i waited the year and obviously in renewing my tenancy it was the agreed terms that he would obviously come do the painting and the tiling since that he hasn't done that and um obviously it was a whole year later and then from when he said he was going to do it a couple weeks later it from august it reached all the way down to december and nothing still was done and then obviously when I started to complain now, because there was plumbing issues, the shower was leaking, and ever since I've been living here, I've been having to maintain the part, the apartment for myself. Like I've been having to maintain the apartment for myself. Like he doesn't want anything. So basically we have concierge and all of that. So he just he's giving me all the numbers and I have to sort out everything myself, which obviously isn't right because if you lots know within a landlord is supposed to maintain the apartment to so make sure the plumbing is done and all of that. He was so neglectful to the point where um, like even when all of this was going on, like the back and forth between the pa the, the painting and stuff, which is he he is all every basically. Hey guys, sorry to interrupt the video so soon. I'm literally editing and I forgot to explain this part. So yeah, when the landlord eventually came over and tried to start some sort of work, like I said, I've been maintaining the apartments for myself. So any leaks, problems and stuff like that, like I'm having to deal with it. He came and literally on the day, this guy's been trying to cut corners and it's like every time he cuts corners, more problems come. He came. The boiler broken down. Comes to find out because he's been so neglectful, like he hasn't kept up with any maintenance, you're supposed to service it and stuff like that. I had to go three days without any hot water and he didn't recompensate me or anything like that. So yeah, when he came, they literally took it out, it was full of lime scale. Imagine full of lime scale. They couldn't service it because it was out of warranty and because he didn't keep up with the service and it costed him extra more to fix. So these are the type of things he's been going with and yeah, it's been a man thing. Plus the towels, you lots can see I'm living under a fire risk. But everything's on written communication, so it was on the, the agreed terms that he was going to paint and tell the place and all that type of stuff and wherever it may be. And when he didn't meet the agreement and stuff like that, that's where the problems obviously start to arise. This was like formal. This isn't just, you know what I mean? Um, yeah. So obviously where I started to complain because I haven't, if you don't notice, the apartment has been empty for the whole two years I've been living here. So that's over 20k I've paid in rent to live in an empty place based on the promise that you said he was going to come because I've been waiting on him to do it. So, that, so obviously where I'm like, come on, it's reaching the new year's now. Like you said you was going to do this. It's on text message that you said a couple of weeks. All of a sudden workman's sick and all of that type of stuff. So when are you actually going to come and sort out the place? So um, obviously where I started to hackle him now, he just said, oh, I didn't agree to do this. I, did. I said, I started 
pulling up screenshots and stuff. He was like, but I said, no, everything is legal from its agreed terms. Da, 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 da. Man tried to serve me a section 21. And they said, you can't do that because I've, I've, I've done a complaint. I've complained that nothing, the plumbing needs working in the house. Yeah, the, the showers are leaking, that's water bill. Do you know what I mean? The doors are starting to pop off and all them type of things. Can you send somebody in there to come fix these? And all, you're supposed to do it, do you know what I mean? The maintenance of the apartments for the landlord. And obviously where I complained, he, he served me a section 21, which he couldn't do. And then obviously I took it up legally. But the, the situation is like, I'm out of that section 21 now. Um, I don't have to go anywhere but my problem is he doesn't w want me here type of thing and I'm not going to itch up in anybody's house moment than I need to be do you know what I mean like my whole life I've been fighting I've been scrambling I've been you know I I it's like every time I'm close to a blessing my home gets attacked when I was 18 years old, yeah, I was so close to starting my social media company that I was supposed to help manage social media accounts and stuff like that. I had like a, I had a whole studio set up, cameras and all that type of stuff. And yeah, it was about to launch. 18th birthday, got kicked out, made homeless, all of that stopped, dropped out of school, everything. Cool, come back now. The two, the two years ago where I was served the eviction, what? I got a brand deal, endorsement, all that type of stuff. All of that went down the toilet the same time I got evicted because of all of that situation that was going on with Queenie and them thing there. Then now this, when I'm so close, when I've launched a multi-entertainment music streaming platform called J Radio. J Radio, powered by Island. <laughs> this is the voice of J Edwards. Careers taking off, I'm getting booking, I've done song Panda Body and Panda Body and my TikToks are Panda Body what? and yeah. Illegal Section 21 served. And obviously to me, I'm just thinking like I'm tired of fighting. <laughs> I've been fighting my whole life. I can't keep doing this. I can't keep doing this. I can't keep doing this. I have, it gets to a point where you kind of have to prioritize. This past year, 2023 was a year of reformation for me. God reformed me. Like, he really put me in a period of isolation where he taught me certain things. He made me aware about certain things. He gave me the vision. Like, it was the first time I fully found myself again. I got my health together because God sent me a message and said, you need to be prepared because this season that you're about to enter is going to be 10 times as hard. And I realized that sometimes... And sometimes a lot of us all hold on to the idea of progression. Sometimes you need to start over somewhere else. Do you know what I mean? Like sometimes when things happen, we don't need to look at it as, oh my gosh, it's a, sometimes see it as an opportunity. And I think with everything that's happening with this house, even though it's everything I prayed for and I've tried so, I've tried so hard to maintain it, I've gone through hell and back just to make sure that, you know, I've done my bit, that the, that the house looks immaculate. Do you know what I mean? I've taken care of the place because it's been my home and I made sure the rent was paid every month and I did what I had to do and you know like with this place I'm happy to say goodbye to it if, if so be if it's within God's will I don't have a problem do you get me I love it and I love being here but for me I feel like it's time to, to leave and obviously me getting there now the reason why I want to leave um, I'm kind of just going all over the place this is just a natural video you get me I'm leaving um, I've decided to leave so in this past year um God's been sending me certain messages and I've been learning a lot. I've met a lot of people, a lot of legends last year. And um, I have a lot of musical talents. And I realised that our culture needs help. Um, the platform that I've built here in the UK, it's opened so many doors for myself and, and Jamaican creatives. And I realised that our culture needs help with marketing and the business standards. And it's going to take a uh, foreign born to do that you see jamaicans they've got the talent but they, they're not so business savvy and they don't have the same standards that we have abroad and i was like you know what there's this gap in the market and if i can do it for myself i've done productions i've been on show i know how everything runs i've been in all the right rooms i've done so many things which i'm even going to go into in a bit and i was like you know what i can do this all myself Artists needs help, dance hall needs help, the Caribbean culture needs help. We need to start implementing the industry standards of and adapting it from the foreign people. Like we need to be doing it like the Afrobeats people, and we need to be doing it like the hip hop people. And we need to start establishing the genres and making sure that we have control over our music. Do you know what I mean? Control as in like structure. 
You know what I mean? And with J Radio, I've launched a multi-entertainment music streaming platform. It's the first of its kind. It's also a media house. Call it the Apple Music and Spotify of Jamaica. The purpose of it is is to provide a new way to discover and enjoy music. I want you guys to be able to plug it, plug J Radio into your speakers, and it's a party atmosphere anywhere you are. Do you know what I mean? Aside from that, like production so i've done a lot of production stuff myself and i've invested in a lot of production equipment like industry grade netflix grade grade stuff and um i wanted to make sure that everything that i needed i could access in-house so graphic designers editing everything j radio i'm gonna put some stuff on the screen for you guys to see um a lot of this was done myself and if it wasn't done myself it was my specific requests down to a t my designs and everything i might co-create with another designer and i just thought you know what i have a talent and jamaica needs this and i'm going to bring this home do you know what i mean and um yeah the basis of it is is to work with djs artists everyone with a creative talent i want to rediscover the way how people re-educate people about our music it's not just about the artists it's about the producers the songwriters there's different elements within music that people need to appreciate and a history about it as well and i want to help with that you know what i mean a small stone can go far away and so far this platform has hit over 40 or 50 countries i'm going to put the world map up here for you guys to see and it's something that is working do you know what i mean and i really want to take this home and i feel like a new environment and a new space is what i need um, in order to just you know see this through and um, this is something that I've designed to help our people It's multi genre we endorse all genres however this is something that dance or reggae soca the Caribbean needs to step up their game do you know what I mean now is the time we've got a lot of talent we can make a lot of noise but we need to tie in the business and that's what I kind of want to do so with that being said like um yeah, with my abrupt decision to move, I literally made this decision this morning. Um, yeah, like basically I had like, so what I've done so far with J Radio is I've taken DJs under my wing and I've rebranded them. So I've taught them about social media. Um, I fixed up their pages, upgraded their TikTok visuals. I put them up on the screen and stuff like that. And also just put them in different spaces and captured natural content that showcases their talent. And what we're doing is we're building a portfolio. So with the portfolio that I've built so far with the content, I present them to corporate businesses. And then they're like, oh, rah, okay. So it's not just, I want to show that there's not just one dimension to dance. So it's not just about the skin out, but it's about the vibes. I want to reconnect, reconnect the community. And that's what I was doing with the DJs. So it, J Radio is a community based project and um, yeah I work with all types of talent so even graphic designers and there's a place for everybody do you know what I mean hold on let me just make sure there's nothing on my lip yeah we're good yeah yeah I've been focusing on that mastering that like I have a six year business model for that God's just been giving me signs and signals there's so much things that I want to do with J Radio concerts so many, I have a lot of things planned a lot of graphics everything is I know what I'm doing with it do you know what I mean and yeah it's something that we need, it's something that is working and that's something that I'm sticking with aside from my own personal brand, Jay Edwards. And Jay Edwards, now, he's been through a lot. Do you know what I mean? He's been through a lot. Um, it's a case where sometimes I put a lot of energy into people and not realising that, cool, accept the fact that you're alone and do it the best that you can do it. No one's gonna have you like you. I, I came like you, you keep forgetting the realization. Like you've been able to do it on your own for so. Why? Why? What? Do it. Do you know what I mean? Finish the race. Sometimes I'm sitting down and I'm looking around and I'm feeling sad. And you know what? I'm very unhappy in the UK, and that's the God Almighty truth. I'm very I'm unhappy. Like I, it's very lonely over here, and I feel like I've grown enough here. Do you know what I mean? Like my own business wise, I've I've worked with TikTok, Taco Bell, Super Dry, Rare Nephew. I've worked with um um uh H and M. I've worked with Boohoo Man. I've worked with um multiple different brands. So many different brands. So many different Turtle Bay, Pop Brixton. You know, so many different um corporate businesses as well that I've been that I've had the I've been on shows, TV shows, Sky MTV. Um, Channel Four's reached out to me. They wanted me to go on X on the beat. So many different. I've had the opportunities in the UK. I've been on online shows just to be, and it's like, you know, I feel like someone spread my wings elsewhere. 
I did it all. I've done my own online shows here. I've creative directed. I've done talent management. I've acquired all the skills that I need to do what I need to do. And I feel like now it's time for me to just really, if I'm going to do this alone thing, I want to do it properly. Do you know what I mean? I want to do it properly. And I'm just praying, like, anywhere I go, I know God's going to be with me. So I'm making sure that this move, like, I'm doing this for myself. And I'm doing this because I have a purpose and there's a vision and there's a bigger goal to this all. Everything I'm doing is not just for me. And that's the reason why I keep going. That's why I keep getting up every day. That's why no matter how sad I get, I keep going because I know this. That's what I think that's what keeps me my fire lit on the inside knowing that it's not just me alone even though i ain't got nobody i would rather i want to leave behind something i want to leave my print on something do you know what i mean something for somebody to remember me by i ain't got nobody everyone's living their life so it's just like i want to make my mark somewhere and i'm just a king looking to build this kingdom you get me and i just want to find peace somewhere and just leave behind a good legacy for whosoever to enjoy do you know what i mean that's just my thoughts about it and um yeah, like, I'm going to start a GoFundMe, right? Being transparent. And the GoFundMe that I'm starting is a moving fund and a business fund. And the reason why I'm asking you guys for help, you don't have to, because either way, with or without your support, I'm doing this. I'm a hustler. One thing about me, I hustle, bro. I hustle anything I don't know, I don't know how to do, I learn it. When I had, if I'm not into a chef, I've done construction, I've done retail, I've done office admin, I've done support work, I've worked with children, I've worked, um, I've done painting and decorating, I've done, I know, I've done a lot of stuff, I've done driving work, I've done um, 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 so much, so much different stuff, so much different stuff, and I've, yeah, I'm like to myself, you know what? Me experience, we can do this, so me, I look for. I start a fund, I look at help. And the help me I look for is to assist me with my move. There's a couple of things I'm gonna to need to do. And there's two artists in Jamaica that are ready to work with me. So what I'm doing is within the time that I'm gonna say I'm gonna move, um, I'm gonna make sure that everything is aligned. So all the work is ready for me to do, as in people there that I'm gonna work with and stuff like that. Make sure that my health is checked out. I wanna I wanna pack a barrel send down there. Obviously, I'm not like a small person, you get me? So I need to make sure that the place I'm going in has good securities and stuff. So resources, production, because I'm going to go down there and bring the production to Jamaica, do you know what I mean? You lots of seen the shows that I'm doing. So yeah, like it doesn't even have to be money, guys. Even if you can donate resources, food, come look, come look, come help me pack the barrel because I'm going to be vlogging all of this. I'm going to keep you guys in the loop and show you guys what I'm doing because this is a new chapter of my life. This is a risk that I'm taking. So like, yeah, I'm doing this. Do you know what I mean? Like I'm really doing this and I just would like the support of the people because this is for the people as well. And if you guys see it within your will and you want to put a little something, I'd appreciate it. You don't have to because either way I'm doing this. God has given me a mission and I'm going on this journey and I just want be transparent when Una give me the money don't expect me to live no proper life because Una see me broke and look good so when I go go down to Jamaica and look broke, broke and pop down to Una give me money now I got my mouth my things so I go weird and I understand but I'm, <laughs> I'm gonna make sure I'm very transparent with everything and um, yeah like I really I've been able to do a lot on my own that's the main thing like everything that you lots have seen I've been able to start with zero like I have no money I've been doing this just me making it out of thin air so imagine if I had the support. So if you guys can, would like on a contribution to Kusoto, yeah man, and help me. It's towards a good cause. You get me? Like, yeah, my journey, everything I'm doing on the media, I'm just trying to document my life, showcase a change, show I started somewhere and I'm ending somewhere. And for me, I'm just living my life for me. I don't want to look back and have no regrets. You know the ones there? Like I got no chick, no child, and I'm not in a relationship, I'm very single. So where I'm determined, young, focused, healthy, ready and mentally determined, that more I do, more I make a change for something, for myself, for somebody, help somebody and just see what I can do. I feel like this is my calling and why not? <laughs> why not? You only live once. And I just want to say happy new year to everybody. 
Thank you so much for your support. I pray that God blesses each and every single one of you from the bottom of my heart. You lots don't understand how much you lots have helped me. How much you lots have helped me grow as a person. The support that you guys have given me, the love that you guys have shown me. When you lots have seen me on the road, there's been some times, bro, where I might have some suicidal thoughts and moments of giving up. But it's the messages that it's the messages that keep me going, that keep my fuel going. And I just want to say thank you. I don't like doing all of this. So as much as I cry a lot, yeah, I don't like showing emotion, you get me? But sometimes it's hard to hold it back. And I just want to say I appreciate you all. All. When I've had nobody, you lots have been there, you get me? So, yeah. Um, I'm crying. Not because I'm sad, but just... I feel it, man. And I'm excited for this new chapter. And we're going to make it work. But yeah, that's me, J Edwards. Follow, subscribe, Instagram, J Edwards everywhere. You'll find me TikTok. Me up my TikTok people. <laughs> I want to build my career. You get me? So I'm gonna document everything, and throughout this whole move, I'm just yeah, I need y'all support. <laughs> I'm not putting down my career just because I'm moving. So obviously, we need to know. So yeah, you guys are my family. I love y'all. Bye. <laughs>